Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. In this video, we are going to see how to cover the regional range of radio communications, probably the most difficult. And for that, we are going to use a low-slung horizontal antenna. This method is called NVIS, or NEVIS, Near Vertical Incidence Skywave, where your signal is beamed straight up refracts on the ionosphere and rains back down covering a regional range from a hundred to a few hundred miles. Local and regional ranges are very important for us preppers because of course we want to know what's going on around us. The problem is that for NVIS we have to use the lower frequencies on 80 meters 3.5 megahertz or 40 meters 7 megahertz Otherwise, it won't work. The issue here is that uh, you need a very long antenna. And that's not very practical, especially if you want to set up a mast or you know, a tall vertical antenna, shoot a wire up a tree or do anything like that. Lucky for us, since a signal is perpendicular to the wire, for NVIS, we need a horizontal antenna. And it can be actually fairly low. The question is, how low can you go? Let's find out. It's about 1.30 p.m. and I'm trying to see if there is anything on the air on 80 meters right now. And I can't hear a peep, nothing. And I know the antenna works. 80 meters during the day isn't your best bet. It works much better at night, so I might just have to wait. If I go to 40 meters, 7 megahertz, Yep, there is traffic there. NVIS during the day is better on 40 meters. I'm standing under the last street light uh, before I get to the darkness. <laughs> because of course for 80 meters um, I have to be out uh, when the sun isn't because 80 meters works much better at night when the ionosphere isn't ionized by sun rays. So I'm going to my uh, river location here to set up a very low antenna. It's going to be 134 foot long, but probably only about seven or eight feet from the ground. So I hope it's going to work on uh, 80 meters. It's getting colder here, so I better hurry before uh, we can't see anything because it's pretty dark. You know, some people find the night spooky, but I actually feel safer at night. Like I'm the predator around here. <laughs> Of course, if I was in the uh, African savanna, I probably wouldn't feel the same. Here's my usual spot here. Nobody around, that's what I like. We might even, oh, a rabbit over there. Yep, I was gonna say we might see some wildlife. Uh, yeah, check. Actually, I'm going to use this one because of the branches right above where I can attach my antenna and I'm going to run it this way in that direction over there. I have three boxes with me. I have my tin can with my QCX 80 meter transceiver. I have some cables and stuff here and my KX2 is in the Pelican case. I might try SSB if it works well. I don't know. We'll see. Now that's not a UFO guys. <laughs> it's a cargo ship. Uh, well, we call that a penish. Let's get the antenna first. I might not be talking the whole time because I have, I might have my uh, light in my mouth. So little antenna analyzer, we'll see if it works. And uh, microphone for the KX2, 10 meters of coax and 134 foot of uh, wire. Elastics and my uh, Anfed transformer 49 to 1, although I have a smaller one in my other box here. Uh, the one I replaced <laughs> that I messed up last time. Here it is actually. It's not the same one as before. I had to throw it away because I had forgotten to solder a piece of wire, but this one is complete and it should work. The SWR with the KX2 is 1.2 to 1. With my transformer, it was 14 to 1. F5TIL. Excellent.
Chamonix on the mountains. Department 74. I told him I was portable. TS-480 100 watts going to be surprised. That's not bad. It's Celsius, of course.
awesome. France to France. Zero. America. Washington, Victoria. G zero AWD on 3.732. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Uh, Foxtrot 4, Fox Hawk, this is Germany, Zero, Alpha Whiskey, uh, Victoria. Give me your call again, over. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Good evening. Okay, there's a lot of noise. A lot of noise. The Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo. Was that the, um, was that the call sign? Bravo Yankee, Bravo Yankee, QSR. Okay, it's um, really difficult to um, to copy at the moment. The noise is very, very noisy. This is Germany Zero, America, Whiskey Victoria listening on 3.732. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo Yankee, Whiskey, Bravo Yankee, Whiskey, Bravo Yankee, QSR. Thank you very much, uh, QSL, QSL. You are 575757, near the town of Lille, Lille, Lima, India, Lima, Lima, Echo, QSL? I, um, I got the signal report 5 and 7, I believe, 57. Can you give me your name? What was your name? Over, over. Roger, it's Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima, Golf India Lima, QSR? Yeah, I'm not too sure of the, um, of the name. Um, it, did I get your call sign? Did I get your call sign correct? That is Fox 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee, QSL? QSL, uh, yes, 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 uh, affirmative. Over. Okay, yeah, I did get that, I did get that. Okay, yeah, no problem. Well. It's um, I probably won't be able to hold it too long with you, but um, the equipment on this side, I think the name is Gil. I've um, just put you into the um, into the logbook, and um, details are coming up um, from QRZ. So, um, okay, Gil, the the um, working conditions here. I'm using a Icom. India Charlie 7300. Oh, nice. We're driving also <laughs> a solid state linear amplifier. Oh, well. Which is an IC2KL running 400 watts PEP. And the antenna is a 130 foot long doublet. It's in 30 feet configured. And the feed point is up at about 43 feet. So that's the setup on this side. I'll pass it back round to you, Gil. Fox 4, Whiskey Bravo, Yankee. This is Germany Zero, America Whiskey Victoria, over. Thank you very much. The operating conditions here using a KX2, KX2, KX2. Five watts, five watts, five watts. An unfed antenna and fed antenna at 8 feet, 8 feet, QSR. Okay, well I think, um, I'm not sure if I did hear it correctly, but I think you said he was running 5 watts, about 5 watts, 
which is um, which is fantastic. And um, I think um, the antenna was an end fed. I think he's using an end fed down antenna. So you're doing a great job, really very good job, um, Gil. If you're running low power like that on a band like this with so much noise, you're um, well, you're doing a great job. Well, very, very nice to work you for the first time, Gil. I'll make this one a final because um, it's going to be time for um, something to eat. But it's nice to work you for the first time, and we'll look forward to um, speaking with you again further down the log. For now, 73, take care, and we'll see you on the next QSO, Gil. Fox 4, Whiskey Bravo, Yankee. This is George number zero, America Whiskey Victoria Rover, Lima Fox Alpha. Thank you very much, uh, thank you very much, and have a very good night, uh, 7373. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey Bravo, Yankee, over and out. Okay. Okay, Gil, was 73, and um, take care. We'll see you. We'll see you again down the um, further down the log. All the best, mate. 73. A very good evening from the UK. Fox 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Germany Zero America Whiskey Victoria. 73 Gil. Good night. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. I have to say, I've used uh, low antennas before, but never that low on that frequency. Uh, usually, I shoot up a wire up a tree, and I have a sloping antenna. But this time, it was about eight feet from the ground on the whole length 134 feet and that's very long uh, i laid the antenna on some low bushes because of course otherwise the weight of the wire makes it bow and uh, it's not straight so i use a very thin wire it's i think it's 26 gauge uh, which uh, comes from the wireman now it's not a copper wire it's actually a copper clad steel wire which allows it to uh, take about, you know, resist to about 25 pounds. Uh, otherwise, it would break. But a steel, uh, copper clad steel wire is much stronger than just copper. You can see from this experiment that using a low slung antenna close to the ground for regional contacts does work and only takes a few minutes. When I first started using 80 meters, I actually, it took me a while to uh, even try it because I thought, ah, you know, 134 foot antenna, that's way too long, it's not practical. But in fact, it was fairly easy. By the way, I was uh, disappointed by my second uh, potted 49 to 1 transformer. The first one I messed up, I know I forgot to connect a wire. The second one, I'm pretty much 100% sure that I wired it correctly. And yet, I got an SWR of 14 to 1, so something is definitely wrong there. And I wonder if it's maybe a problem with the connector, or if the resin around the core is creating some problem and changing the permeability of the whole thing. But I'm not quite sure, so I think I'm going to have to stick with uh, using a 49 to 1 transformer in a plastic box like I've been doing. Of course, it's going to work better with uh, sending Morse code using CW or using digital modes. Voice modes, as you just saw, is a little more difficult, but I still manage to contact to England on 5 watts. So, have a good one!